Today on Pin TV, we're decorating a cake. My nephew's birthday is coming up and I'm making him a cake. So I started by doing some pinning on Pinterest and of course I found tons of inspiration, but most of the cakes that I found are made with fondant rather than regular frosting. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make a simple birthday cake using fondant. For this example today, we are going to use a styrofoam cake and that's actually a really good way for you to get some practice if you haven't done this before. As far as knowing how much fondant you are going to need, you want to measure your cake. So this is about four inches wide and three inches uh, high, which means you're going to need about 10 inches in diameter when you roll out your fondant. If this was a real cake, um, you would be sealing it with icing or buttercream. Uh, in this case, because it's styrofoam, we're going to cover it with piping gel so that the fondant sticks to it. Now it's time to roll out your fondant. So you want to sprinkle a little cornstarch. This will prevent the fondant from sticking to your table. You're going to grab your fondant, you want to put some on the bottom, and then you're also going to add a little to your roller and you're going to start rolling up. We have a little bubble here, so we're just going to pop it and we're going to keep going. Then take out your little ruler and make sure, yeah, you're definitely at 10 and you have some to overlap, which is exactly what you want. So now you want to roll this onto your pin so that you can place it onto your cake. So you're going to bring your cake over, right? And you're just going to place it over it like this. And now it's time to smooth out the fondant. And you want to make sure you're not getting cracking at the top here. So you're kind of pushing upwards and you're not pulling the fondant down. And you can pick these up um, at any cake decorating store. You just want to go around and make it extra smooth. So once you have your fondant in place, you can then take your pizza cutter and you want to cut all around your cake. The pizza cutter really allows you to get, to get a smooth edge and take away all the excess fondant. So you're just going to tear it off like this. Now the fun part. We're going to create a circular pattern to decorate the cake using these three colors. So you want to start by dyeing your fondant. We're going to start with red, so we're going to add a little bit of the fondant dye to our fondant and then you want to knead the color into the fondant. Once the dye is completely mixed in and you're happy with the color, you just want to roll it up like so and then you can go ahead and create the other colors um, that we talked about. So you want to do, I've already pre-done them for, to make it easier for today. So we have a blue and a really nice yellow. We are going to roll these out and I have a little tool and we're going to cut out the circles to create our circular pattern. All that's left is to apply them to the cake. So you'll need a little bit of water and a paintbrush. So you want to add a little bit of water, not too, too much, but you want to make sure that there's enough so that it sticks. Then you're going to grab your spatula and I've already predetermined my first row, so I'm just going to put it right down there, like so. And once you have your first row established, you'll basically just use that as a guide to position all of your other ones. Now that the pattern is complete, all that's left is to transfer the cake onto your serving platter. So we're going to grab it very carefully and we're going to install it on the serving platter. And as a finishing touch, I'm going to add one little circle on the top in the center. And since my nephew is turning one, we're going to add one candle and there you have it. I hope this episode has shown you how easy it can be to work with fondant and that you too can make a beautiful cake. It's really like Play-Doh for grown-ups. So if you make your own cake or have any questions, please feel free to tweet at me at Julie D. Brown. You can also leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to Coral and until next time, happy pinning.